an MPOD, one of the core kind of uh, development paths that we wanted to develop was to improve accessibility to healthcare insights. We didn't quite know how we were going to do that, and that's where ICOR came into the picture. We joined ICOR back in 2019, 2020 for the winter cohort. Uh, we learned how to ensure the technology we were developing was actually applicable to the clinicians, healthcare providers, and public health people that we were developing technologies for. ICORP has been able to do for us, especially at the regional level, is provide awesome mentorship and guidance. They were able to kind of help us break our shell in the beginning and really kind of step out of the building. We were kind of really stuck behind the desk. So it's like a more adapt to like a commercial thinking, what the user really needs. We went in with an idea of who our gateway customers were going to be and what we were going to provide. Um, and we kind of ended up back at a feature that we initially took for granted. Um, so it feels like we, through the customer discovery process, um, we're actually a little bit farther along in our development than we had thought in terms of like getting something on the market as soon as possible. One of the important steps we took in our process of reaching here is customer discovery. You know, it's kind of a radical idea, hey, go talk to the marketplace first. But uh, we've seen so many times how people really embrace that idea. They learn so much and then they realize that maybe the idea they had originally wasn't exactly the way to go to the marketplace. They refine it and they come out of the shoot, um, you know, much better prepared to bring something to the market that people will want. i has really been an inspirational program for so many of our students, our faculty, mentors, alumni. It's an exceptional program because it really inspires engineers to get out of their comfort zone, to meet new people, and to feel confident about the market that they'll eventually go into. Being a, a participant in the i process has been a great experience for myself, having been both in a regional and a national. And uh, as, as faculty at Stony Brook University, it also helps me with my students. And I, I love the opportunity to be able to pitch to the students that if they have an idea, they can, um, there's a resource for them to utilize. For me personally, as the uh, principal manager of the innovation program at the National Gym Consortium, it creates an opportunity for our fellows to excel in a very different way. ICOR at our institution has changed over time. We have had a site grant since 2016, and things have changed tremendously since then. We run our own programs, we educate engineers and scientists across our campus and our five schools. And getting translational research out and commercialized is so important today that we encourage all of our life science and engineering faculty and researchers to take a look at the i program so that they can make an impact with the research they're doing in their labs and their engineering centers. And i is the way to do that.